before you know it, parents will be busy packing school lunches once again, and there's always an extra concern for parents of picky eaters. Channel 3's Nicole Nalepa has some ideas for you. James Beard award-winning chef David Standridge of the Shipwright's Daughter and Mystic stopped by with his children to teach me how to make some healthy back-to-school recipes in sustainable packaging. We're making yogurt parfaits. Yes, this is a great one. Um, one of the few protein sources I can get into this child right here is yogurt. <laughs> Another win are the ball jars we're using to make it in. I love these for packaging. Uh, I'm talking about sustainability for lunches. Uh, you can buy them in a case. They're not expensive mm -hmm. and they fit perfectly in lunch boxes. They're super durable yeah. and obviously easy to wash. So, for our first recipe, you need a ball jar and some jam. I'm going to put some jelly on the bottom, okay? Boop. Can I do raspberry? You want raspberry in yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do That's raspberry good. in yours. Next comes the yogurt, and then the kids get to pick what goes on top. I've really found that, like, allowing them a little bit of choice in what they get for lunch mm -hmm. is much better than just making a random lunch that just comes back, and then I wonder how they're surviving it all. <laughs> Chef David had an assortment of things, ranging from granola, a few sweet treats, and both fresh and dried fruits. So the p dry pineapple, dry banana chips, yep. what are these? Those are dried mulberries. Mulberries are really, really good for you, tons of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. um, they kind of like them. Sometimes, but I like things that are neutral colors. Yes. Like something that they might not like. The worst thing is if it's just a bright color. Green, obviously, is the big flashpoint mm -hmm. for kids. But the mulberries are good because you can kind of mix them into things and you can hide them. Once the toppings are all in, you're done. All right, Liv, is that Depends one all on done? Day. Okay, we're going to put the top on it. Look at that. Yeah, that looks great. And then you can put that in your lunchbox. Another recipe that's easy to pack and healthy to boot, Chef David's Kiddo Crudite. That includes sweet potato hummus. Right. So it's a little bit sweeter. It might be a little bit more agreeable to the palate of the, of the kid. Yeah. But it's still, you know, sweet potatoes are super healthy. And obviously we're going to put some other hummus ingredients in there that are healthy as well. You need a baked sweet potato. It's just better if they chilled. And then we're just going to basically open that up and take the peel off and squeeze it right into the food mm -hmm. processor. We're going to add a little bit of chickpeas. Um, obviously they're great for you. And then a tiny bit of tea. Okay. Blend it all in a food processor. Boy, okay, here we go. Ready? So that's basically what we have. Just a nice, nice smooth hummus. Here's the part where your kids can get involved. So Olivia, do you want to pick some stuff to go with your hummus and put it in these jars? Ooh. What do you think you would like to put in there? You want pretzel chips? Can you fill a jar with pretzel chips? And Chef David has one more tip when it comes to packing this. I like to keep things separate. Mm -hmm. I don't want a big container with a bunch of stuff in it yeah. because they're going to be like, well, the cucumbers touch the crackers and now I won't eat the crackers. Right, exactly. So I don't want to yep. go through that. So we're just going to give them a little jar of hummus. Uh-huh. And also, like, you know, for my other child who will not eat hummus, I'll still put this in his lunchbox. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to eat it. It's there. Maybe yeah. he'll magically open it up, and today will be the day right, that exactly. he eats hummus. It does happen sometimes. Sometimes the magic happens. Like this. Liv, do you want to taste the hummus? You want to do a little taster with your finger? Okay. One taste. How many thumbs up? Two thumbs up. One up, one down. That's pretty good. All right. For Channel 3 Eyewitness News, I'm Nicole Nalepa. Oh, that Olivia is so sweet, isn't she? Before school starts, we are asking Connecticut teachers to send us your wish list. We know so many of you spend your own money on supplies. We want to help. You can send us your wish list through the Channel 3 app or WFSB.com, and we will post those lists starting next week so our viewers can help clear them.